sideline. Five seven three one. Guys, we're 84. It's 1076. Get back to uh, command. Command, go. Got a fire in a basement of a 12-story Verizon building. 330 by 100. One precautionary line stretch at this time. They're waiting, Con Command. 731. So the address is 230 West 360. We're using all hands for a fire in the cellar. Of a 12 story 330 by 100 fireproof office building. Exposure 1 is a street. Exposure 2 is a similar attack. Exposure 3 is unknown. Exposure 4 is a 5 is a 6 story commercial building. We have one line stretch, one in operation. Primary searches in the cellar are complete and negative. Our command channel is in the process. Uh, all visible fire has been knocked down. We had fire involving electrical panel in the cellar. Uh, we have a line stretch now as a precaution. Can you start out a hazmat check unit? Hazmat one in the hazmat battalion. We are doubtful at the start. Okay, we'll start the room itself has a light smoke condition. But uh, nothing heavy, and uh, perhaps it is behind the unit. You can't reach behind the unit, you only get anywhere near the electrical cable. Alright, come forward. My name is Eric Snivak, I'm out of four. I'm out of four. You can't go right now. Right in the clear of the uh, first floor lobby. Three or two. Three or two. Three or two. Why would it be combining? Negative, Chief. We're more towards the uh, east side of the building. There's a little separate lobby over here. That's what I said. Hey, we're going to check out, right? A little bit pushing, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to head down to the east Okay, so we still have a smoke condition because it's still powered by Con Ed on the Con Ed side, so it's still hot. They have Hazmat and uh, 44 with second piece coming in. Hazmat Tech. Special pull. Uh, 
man, that's a E. That's a E, go. Tell me how I make it with uh, the searches on the floors above. I think I had my aid just gave the chief stairwell with the only stairwell with complete negative. I got that side of the floor. That is well. Not uh, getting through these. Uh, trying to get through that uh, cellar there so they can get the, the smoke out of there. Got that open.
Right, you got 44 uh, hazmat tech. That's a one six calling. Four nine one six five one four nine five. Six nine four two. Nine eight SCT Charlie. Go right one two. Nine eight SCT Charlie. Go right Secondary to the first floor, complete negative. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, we're back. Uh, Guys, as you heard, it's going probably will hold at this time. We got uh, 44 with the hazmat second beat. Because what the battery has on the battalion. It's not a battalion, guys. Has a battalion orders a field time to come in at 7. Alright, hazmat battalion is 1084. Turn 4 has a battalion, you're ready for the box to go in for 6 hours. Taken up. Manhattan 2, engine 1 5. Engine 1 5. Engine 1 5, you're operating on the uh, FBI drive, Wester? Right. I just wanted to get some of the units here. We got Battalion 2, Field Com, Brand New Division 3, Brand New Battalion 8, Brand New Battalion 6, Engine 14, High Rise 1 transported by Engine Company 3, Tower out of 12. Tower lot of seven, which is the fast truck. Battalion seven, rack one, squad 18, uh, engine seven, communications engine. Squad 18, 
Hazmat Battalion with Hazmat 1. SU 1. Hazmat 1 second piece with TSU. Lot of three. And Hazmat's uh, front piece seem to be replaced. This Tonk Division 3, Deputy Chief Coin reports. Units are continuing to vent the building. Con Ed is now on scene, evaluating the situation along with Verizon. Secondary searches are underway throughout the building, and we're going to remain probably will hold, okay? Five units in command, duration of the box is now one hour and nine minutes. Still come. Still come, step forward. 